Yeah, both for you and for your opponent. Mm -hmm. But uh, going to game one, they're going to be starting off on PS2. This is a great stage for the both of them. They're able to get a lot started right here. Um, ooh, and the forward immediately trading, but Chris getting the drag down up here into up tilt, up tilt, missing the last up here on it. Um, both of them have relatively even percent right now. And the difference is between fighting like Lucene and Roy is it's a lot harder to land something like a PK fire on them considering how much floatier she is and she can just like control the airspace in this matchup. All right, the invincibility frames of Dolphin Slash getting right through that PK Thunder. I see. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like Steezy is a lot more willing to contest PK Chris in the air thanks to Lucina's uh, longer, longer ranging fair and the lack of sweet spots and sour spots that Roy has. So, and plus with the floatier, with the floatier hitboxes. Oh, that was that was oh, that was so good. Like Chris, that was deep. Chris knows that he can dive deep with it, especially if he has his other jump and an air dodge more than enough to get back on the station. Right now, this is really, really scary to try to get back. I love that recovery timing mix-up. So good. I can't believe that F-Smash missed. <gasps> oh, and the Dolphin Slash interrupting the fair that was going to come out from PK Chris. That was amazing. He knows that Dolphin Smash doesn't have too much headlag. It's not going to be like Florida where it will sink you down. I love that from Steezy. That was such a great option because otherwise I would have easily been the stock. We get the up air there and that takes the stock of 109. But this is, uh, this is definitely in back throw range, so you have to be careful of that. But you're, Ness is always looking for a grab at it, most percents. Yep, but against a character like Lucina, especially with the spacing tool like back here, comes out quick, gonna kill you super early. That's going to be a go to ledge trap of choice. It's very difficult to commit to backness, but the back here, not enough to take it quite yet from center stage. PK Chris has to catch his landing, but is unable to do so. I really like how PK. Oh, is it that? Yep. Yeah. It is. I really like how PK Chris is missing, mixing in a lot more fastballs than especially what Ribs was doing. Ribs was much more content to to hold a position and play play like solid, like a column, while PK Chris is mixing up his momentum and mixing up his fall speed in order to yep. catch in order to catch openings and create them. And getting the drag down up here, full hit, and into an Waiting up here PK What? <gasps> I'm speechless. What that kind was... of punish? Chris is a degenerate. <laughs> He's such a degenerate. I love that. That was so great. That was literally beautiful. It was so hard to react to that PK Thunder, especially since he dragged it off stage and back on yeah. all the way down and around. That was nuts, but he's gonna get punished for the ad lag of the PK fire, he's just getting out smash for it. But getting the oh, that's good. Oh. He reversed his magnet to catch the tech in. That was so good for Chris. That's exactly what I was talking about. He's trying to force it. He's not just trying to wait out Lucina and wait for the openings that she's going to give because she's not going to give any. She's yeah. Lucina. So it's like now it's it's up to me to make some openings and I know exactly what you, where you're going to tech in and where you're going to air dodge. Oh, and he almost got the lead on the get up slash normal. Uh, get up oh. attack with a normal get up with the back hit, but he was slightly misspaced for it. Lucina, of course, low profile, low profile when she get up attacks. The back hit, not enough to take it. Trying to bully Lucina a little bit with the PK Thunder, but uh, ooh. Yeah, he got yeah. the jump. Oh, that was a good DI from Steezy, but unfortunately that was not quite enough. Wow. Huh. That was, uh, like, Steezy played really solid, yep. and then Chris would sometimes just take a moment and say, and just have like a brain blast of, like, now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> that was... So everything about that F smash, it's like he got such a hard read on the fact that he would air dodge in that he would just go for an F smash. That was nuts. I love that commitment. But going into game two, sticking to PS2, I love the fact that Chris just m m mixed up his momentum with the magnet into a down air, getting quite a bit of percent off on that. Getting the drag down up air, uh, but going through the neutral air instead of the up tilt, which is normally the move of choice there. Trying to flip in in order to get that conversion off the PK PK fire if it hit, but if it hit is the is the mystery as it hit hit shield him. Okay, and that's just gonna the, be the stock right there. Yeah, it was just the trail. It wasn't the ball itself. That trail is a uh, just enough hit stun in order to put you uh, take you out of a move, but not enough to send you anywhere. Yeah, so. it doesn't knock you up, and it's great for catching jumps as well. And right there, that's where you see the 32 frames of invulnerability that Ness has and is able to go through the counters. Ooh, almost getting the down air lead to for the low recovery, but Steezy getting the raw F smash to ledge guard Ness more than enough to take him out. 
back on ledge again. It feels like we're playing this entire set here. Flipping in, big. Oh, okay. Going air to air directly with Nash, making sure to outrange the PSI magnet. Yep. Ooh, making sure, just like, Nas can do almost any single move out of any of his rising aerials. Um, so that's like something you have to be really careful of when you're fighting him. I wonder what that shield breaker is for, because, uh, I mean, Chris hasn't really been shielding a lot. It's more yeah. been like sh shield for a moment, like he's looking for a parry, and then jump right away. <laughs> All these magnets. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, maybe about half of them are unnecessary, and going with the taunt as well. But he has to be so careful because Lucida has a shaggy hitbox on the upbeat. Ah, uh, not wow. getting the not getting the exact angle of the magnet he wanted to because that surely would have been a back hit if he did. I want you right now. Chris oh, he footstool. He got the he got the phantom footstool yep. for to boost right up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right indeed. now he's sitting at 81 percent. Like this is definitely not a good percentage. He was just knocked off stage. Go for the downturns. Yeah, that's it. The fact that he's mixing up the timing is great. Just because it's like it becomes so much more difficult to ledge guard him. Uh, trying to read the fact that Lucina would try to back out with the other PK fire, but of course not getting it. Yeah. That time he made sure to step back a little bit so that he the sword would definitely hit ledge. Mm -hmm. A good little tech roll in just to make sure he gets center stage. He knows he's going to be taking some decent amount of damage here. And, right now, the spot and Chris has to be more attentive of those PK fires because Lucina, with an invulnerable upbeat, has to. Can, Lucina can just mash up beyond PK fire. So he has to be really, really careful of that going forward. And right. the backfield is not enough to take it out quite yet. Using the PK Thunder again. And that's. Ooh, Wait, I thought he might have jumped right there. You're, okay. okay. Uh, he may be trying to read a roll with that pivot grab there. Couple PK flashes in order to get make and get Steezy off of the ledge, off of off of the pressure. A lot of these down tilts just leads into the standing grab. He knows Ness wants the neutral get up grab. Go for the roll. I love the option coverage from Steezy right now, but I feel like, I mean, if he were to get up attack, that would be an out of shield option for Lucina. So not really sure what the best choice would have been right there. Yeah, at the very least, with the roll, he's able to get back center stage. Oh, Steezy going way off. Good tech in. Oh, okay. That's actually super huge for Steezy because the momentum was yeah. really a lot on PK Chris's side. He was really starting to, to groove, get a lot of his buttons and get a lot of his conversions yep. going. And Steezy, uh, he had taken the, the stock first every time. Mm -hmm. So Steezy was almost in a position where he's mentally and in-game playing catch-up. Yep. But now that he has gotten a stock, Gotten the stock before Chris and gotten one at such a high percent. This might be a little bit of momentum shift back onto Steezy's side because I feel like he's kind of he's not as much, but he's kind of a momentum-based player as yep. well. He likes to feel he likes to feel a flow in his game plan that, that Lucina can really give. And right there, Chris was ready for the upbeat out of shield, ready to punish with those double up. He was already racking up 30, 60, 49 percent already. And this is like right there, that's the adaptation I was talking about. Whenever you up the out of shield, uh, up the uh, against those Ness, uh, PK fires against Ness, it's always going to be a 50 50. If, is Ness is going to dash in, or am I going to be punished for doing this right now? Um, regardless, uh, Chris dropping the edge guard opportunity, getting hit with the rising fit from Lucina, trying to lead a jump in with that back hill again, but he's just going to buffer a roll right away. And right there, Tragic. PK Thunder's tail is such a scary interruption tool because it'll catch your jumps, it'll go through all of your hitboxes, it'll knock you out of up B, and if you try to air dodge, you're gonna die. It's your first instinct to air dodge, but you'll die to it. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it, I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's a little bit... Okay, getting getting the two frame with that down tilt. These down tilts apply so much pressure in order to get off ledge. Well, the fair to challenge. Yeah, and it's not, not enough quite yet. I love the fact that Steezy waited a little bit just to make sure he won't hit him with the upbeat. He's got mention there. I love these players just landing, landing aerials on shield. And Lucina uh, falling out of Ness's rising forward, but still Chris able to throw out another one. All these. Ooh, and that could be. Save his jump, <gasps> but held down and dashed right into his face to grab. No, just going for the jabs. And Chris just opting to air dodge directly on back off to stage. Um, 
Getting the drag down up air, and but missing the grab because the up air crossed up. Otherwise, that would have been easily the stock right there. Um, and Chris is doing a little bit too much off stage right now. And had that two frame, that would have definitely been it. Chris still missing the drag down up air, but able to get the grab anyways. Yeah, you could see him going for that the first time. And even if he messed it up, he made sure he that he, he was safe enough in order to go for it again. Yeah. Easy, a little bit. A little bit slow on recognizing what PK Chris was going for, thanks to his phenomenal movement that off stage and mm -hmm. using that ledge. And right now, like you see, Chris moving along the platforms a lot with those uh, double jump cancel PK fires, but Steezy is it able to capitalize on those by just getting under Ness and punishing him for it? And that magnet just propelled Steezy off stage, giving Ness all of the stage control he wants right now. Got a lot of stage to work with. That's such a such a wide, such a wide stage like PS2. That was a great he counter. Countered it and still got the uppy out before the spike came. That counter was brilliant. It was so good. I love that from Seizing. Instead of like opting to air dodge and then just like giving him one less option to work with, he just like went along with it. That was beautiful. Careful about we've seen it. This is a problem. Taking 40%. Almost. Oh, and that's gonna trade. Trade with F tilt and PSI magnet, I think. A couple of these, a couple rolls coming out for Cz in order to get some space. He's trying to, he, uh, he's trying to keep Ness below, below him. Oh, oh catching the tech cool. in with the back air, that was brilliant. And right now, <gasps> getting the sour spot of, uh, the sour timing of the back air, rather. And that will be the set right there, unless DZ has impeccable DI, and he almost got it. But that is going to be two one that for was. PK Chris. That was. Really close. I felt like that. I feel like Chris in game two got a little bit overconfident. You saw him throwing out those taunts instead of throwing out a PK Thunder to do edge guard. And you saw him like start dancing with Magnet almost. Double jump Magnet uh, into downer. Magnet, Magnet, downer. And then Steezy stood there and was like, yep, 